What's up everybody, Zach here, Southern Lunar Retrievers, and welcome back to another episode of Sick of Gear Reviews. If you guys couldn't tell, we got the new studio up, so uh, it's a pretty big deal. I'm uh, now instead of in my kitchen, I'm in my basement. Pretty big deal. Damn, damn, damn! Pretty big upgrade too, but uh, no big deal. Anyway, let's get to the actual content. So. Today we're going to be covering one piece. Today we are covering solely the core lightweight hoodie. Before we get into the actual details, which won't take long, let's go and pull it right off the site. The core lightweight hoodie. Designed to be more than just another base layer, the core lightweight hoodie is the foundation that all our sickest systems are built from. High performance polyester construction moves moisture through periods of high aerobic activity while driving quickly during low periods of spent sitting, glassing, or calling. It's a, it's a lightweight hoodie. <laughs> so before we dive any further, it comes in the subalpine color, which somewhere in the bottom, the Elevated 2, the Optifade Open Country, Waterfowl Marsh, Waterfowl Timber, and the Sitka Black. Very similar to the other colors of many of the other hoodies. I'm wearing a grinder right now. Awesome. We'll cover that soon. But dive into it, guys. So, this is exactly the same feel. Maybe a little bit more meshy, if anything. But the same weight standard as the uh, core long sleeve and short sleeve tops. The top of the bottom, it's very similar to the most other hoodie setups. Like It's literally exactly the same as the grinder hoodie, minus insulation. You got your tight hood. You do have the... Uh, uh, the mesh face mask and this is of course in the waterfowl timber moving down you have your sickle logo on the left side on top of the left breast pocket of course not not lined this is clearly a warm weather piece uh, don't wear this by itself in cold weather you're gonna get cold but it is part of the sickle layering system so it can be an insulating piece if worn with the others properly and moving down, it is, um, that's about it. You got a nice zipper, uh, goes halfway down, so this is a half zip. There is no hoodie pocket, which uh, is probably the only thing that makes this a little bit different than the others. I mean, the grinder doesn't have it either. You can see down the bottom, we have a little bit of a white cape. All right, it goes down the back. If you do tuck your stuff in, helps a lot. Like I said, it is a half zip. Moving to the sleeves, we have, instead of the actual push-through thumb loops that you see in a lot of heavier hoodies, similar to the grinder, you have the retention strap or the bungee thumb loop. Other than that, guys, that's it. I'm really anxious to get this in some warm weather. I wore it last summer and loved it. It was nice for when we'd go to like hunt tests and that early morning, right before you know, actually register, It'd be awesome because you can just toss this on if you knew it was going to be a hot day. And those cool mornings were made a little bit easier thanks to this. So, for me, I haven't found anything wrong with it. Unless you have a bad experience with it, let me know in the comments. But for me, 5 out of 5. All day long, baby. You subscribe to the channel, like this video, and thank you for watching. Have a good day, and we'll see you next time. Ow! Try to catch me howling at the moon.